this video, you will learn how to install Veracode Static for IntelliJ. First, go to the Veracode documentation and then download the zip file here. In IntelliJ, open the file menu and select settings and then select plugins. Click the gear icon and select install plugin from disk. Navigate to the zip file you downloaded and select OK. Select Restart IDE to restart IntelliJ and complete the installation. Next, to connect the IntelliJ plugin to Viracode, you must configure an API credentials file. To do this, open Windows File Explorer. Navigate to Local Disk C. Users and open the folder for your user account. Add a new folder and name it dot .viracode. The extra period at the end of the folder name instructs File Explorer that you want to create a folder that starts with a period. Now, to create the credentials file, open a text editor, such as Notepad. Then go to the Viracode docs website and find the documentation for generating API credentials on Windows. Copy this example API key format Veracode provides in the documentation and paste it into your new text file. Then, open the Veracode platform and from the top, hover over your account here and click API credentials. On the next screen, Click Generate API Credential. Then the platform generates an API key ID and an API secret key. Copy the ID and secret key and paste them into your text editor, like so. After you've pasted your ID and secret key, select File and then Save As. Make sure you save the credentials file in your new .viracode folder, inside your user folder. In the file name field, type credentials, with quotation marks. Including the quotation marks ensures that Notepad does not add a file extension. Click Save. And your credentials file creates successfully. Next, back in IntelliJ. Open the Files menu and select Settings, Tools, Viracode, Credentials. Select Store Credentials in External File. Then select Test Credentials. If you set up the file correctly, you will see a success message. Thank you for watching this video.